Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you three things you didn't know about spy networks. So let's start. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you can use a spy network to remove uh, enemy entrenchment. So in this case I want to attack in Krakow. I will start building a spy network here. So I will unpause. And what will happen real soon as this builds up in this zone is that you see down to the far right of the pop-up that the max entrenchment will slowly stack up. So the maximum entrenchment I can remove is five. And right now it's on minus 0.3 based on the percentage I have on my spy network in this region. So how much is five entrenchment? Well, basically if I tag over to the Polish player and then I look at the entrenchment, He's right now on 30%, which is max. And there you see my enemy Intel network is popping up. Uh, and his maximum entrenchment, giving him 30%, was 15. So I can basically remove one third of his entrenchment in this case by removing, um, uh, by building spy network in that zone where I want to attack, which is really, really powerful. Yes, so the second thing I'm going to show you is basically a quite crazy thing, but it, it is that it this actually stacks if more countries do the same thing in the same region. So I'm going to change over to Italy. I'm going to take a agent, put it in Krakow, and then I will pause and start building a spy network here as well. So Italy in this case is in the same faction as the Germans uh, and I start building a spider network in the same zone. So if I go over to the Polish player now and I look at the entrenchment, I see the German one here that is building to one, uh, it's minus 1.3 now based on the level of uh, spy network. And as soon as it reaches a certain level, the Italian one will pop up here as well. And there we go, so minus 0.5, and now it will build it, uh, in parallel to the German one. And what's really uh, crazy in this case is that they will both go to a minus 5, removing two-thirds of all the entrenchment of the Polish player in this case. And this would keep on adding, so if the Romanian player, let's say, that's also in the axis, would do the same thing in the same region, that would also add another minus 5, and thus removing all of the entrenchment of the Polish player in that region. Is, as you can imagine, is very, very powerful. All right. The third thing I'm going to show you is how we can use this in another way to stop an attack and thus basically removing the planning bonus of the attacker. So I will actually start doing this. I will create a agent for the Polish player and then I will build a network here in this region and then pause. So everything that's highlighted now will be affected of the spy network that I build here as Poland and and you can see here uh, that the planning max planning factor is minus point uh, minus 1.9% uh, percent down here to the to the uh, right in the pop up and if i go over to germany first without unpausing my max planning on a unit here now is 41% and then i unpause we will s soon see the effect uh, of my the Polish spy network here uh, on the planning bonus as it builds up to a certain level and then you will see it all. And what's crazy uh, of the spy um, network is that it rem can actually remove all of the planning bonus of the attacker. So uh, one agent can remove 100% if it reaches the spy network reaches 100%. So now you can see the enemy internet network is, yeah, is building up on this. And you can see that the max planning bonus is now 35%. That started on 41. Um, this also stacks if more uh, countries do it on the same place, but it doesn't really matter as one player can take away 100% alone. But if the um, defender has a good uh, level of counter spionage, it could be quite smart to quickly remove it with more players doing the same thing. Yeah. That was everything in this video. I hope you liked it. If you uh, like this content, please subscribe to the channel and uh, please stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.